Create line plots. Lauren owns a store and records the number of items each customer purchased. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. This is the data. And this is the line plot that we need to complete. This column shows the items purchased, and this column shows the number of customers. This number represents the items purchased, and this X represents the number of customers. Now let's go back and pick the X's based on the number of customers. So zero customer purchased zero item. So we don't pick anything here. Eight customers purchased one item. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight X's, two customers purchased two items, and eight customers purchased three items. So I need to pick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. Now let's check the answer. That's right. Ethan takes people on bird watching tours. He records the number of birds that each person sees. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. Six people saw zero bird. That means I need to pick one, two, three, four, five, six X's. Eight people saw one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One person saw two, and six people saw three birds. That's right. Dylan is recording how many solar panels are on each house in his neighborhood. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. Nine houses had zero solar panels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven houses had one, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Six people had two, and three people had three. Correct. A dietitian noted the number of apples eaten by her clients last week. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. Two clients had zero apple. None of them ate one, so I'm not going to pick any X here. Two clients ate two, and none of them ate three. So this should be the correct line plot. Awesome. A dietitian noted the number of apples eaten by her clients last week. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. Nobody ate zero apples, so I'm not going to pick anything here. One. Four clients ate one. Eight clients ate two. And eight clients ate three. Click. Nice work. Jaden is recording how many solar panels are on each house in his neighborhood. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. One house had zero solar panels. Nine houses had one. And two, let's see, it's zero. So I don't pick anything here. And ten houses. That's three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And answer. Correct. A teacher recorded the scores on a quiz. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. Let's, let's look at the number of students. 
three students scored zero. Zero student equal, uh, scored one, so I don't think anything here because it represents the number of students. Remember, if it's zero, we don't pick anything. And five students scored two, and four students scored three. Let's answer. Correct. A dietitian noted the number of apples eaten by her clients last week. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. Now on top of zero, three comps. On top of one, eight comps, eight clients. And seven comps on top of two. And six. Six clients ate three apples. And click answer. Great job. A dietitian noted the number of apples eaten by her clients last week. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. One client ate zero apple. Ten clients ate one. Nine clients ate two. And three clients ate three apples. So this is the correct line plot. Correct. We have one more to go. Coach Dahlia records the long jump distances for each student. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot. So none of the students jumped zero. So it's zero. I don't pick anything. Three students jumped one feet. Three students jumped two feet. And three students jumped three feet. So this should be the right line plot.